Louisiana Beer Reviews Vizzy Hard Seltzer. Hint of pineapple mango with antioxidant vitamin C from Acerola Superfruit. How do you like the title of that beer? You say beer? It's a seltzer. Well, <clears throat> yes, but it says hard seltzer with natural flavor, contains alcohol, 5% alcohol, Molson Coors, beverage company Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, oh, contract brewed by City Brewing, the old Schlitz Brewery. If you look on the website, it says flavor beer. That's a disclosure on the website. Down below, real quiet something most people wouldn't notice <coughs> contains less than one percent juice got the nutrition facts on the back guys this was introduced in 2019 but I think very late 2019 and 100 calories and five percent alcohol and a five percent alcohol of beer <coughs> sparkling water cane sugar natural flavor pineapple juice concentrate citric acid Sodium citrate and dried acerola cherry juice. Now, who could ask for more than that? Thank you, David, for this can. I don't know why he bought it. He just said, I saw this and I bought it. You want one? Of course. All right. Brewed in America. Now, if you look on the website, it says Fort Worth, Texas, but this can says Memphis, Tennessee. Well... It could be doing at their own Miller Brewery in Fort Worth, built in 1966 on U.S. Highway 287 northbound. I passed in front of it. Never, they don't give tours there. And or, or, or it could be at the uh, City Brewing at Memphis. Well, the glass doesn't matter because it's clear, no color, bubbly, no head of foam. It's gonna fizz right away. I was finished with seltzer beers. I was like, I don't want to review another one. But he brought it. I said, nah, couldn't hurt. There is a more than a hint of pineapple and mango. I would say they should put on the label a strong suggestion of my pineapple and mango. There's no hint. Antioxidant. And that's special. Hey, I'm not against vitamin C. I take a vitamin C every morning, 500 milligrams. Almost never get a cold anymore since I started doing that around 1999, 2000. My body's saturated with vitamin C. <clears throat> Tastes kind of vitamin-y. It does. It tastes like a Flintstones vitamin. I took enough of those. Uh, <coughs> we would take the Flintstone vitamins in the morning. And then we would kind of argue over them. My, my sister and I were like, I want that one. I want Bam Bam. I want Pebbles. Or whatever. You know, you would. And then I want the grape. It was... We would get pretty upset about it. But uh, we, um, my parents didn't care. We were taking them, you know. But we loved Flintstones vitamins. Oh, it was like the highlight of the breakfast. And this tastes like that. <laughs> 100 calories. It's actually a uh, medium body. Low medium, but it's medium. It's prickly, but it's not as prickly as I had imagined. Not like Edith prickly. It's just prickly, but not substantially. Cane sugar. Sparkling water. Okay, cool. Move this chair up. Cane sugar. Well, I live surrounded by cane fields. <laughs> Natural flavor. Guess that's the mango. Probably some kind of pulverized, dehydrated mango. Pineapple juice. Concentrate. Citric acid. Yeah, gives it the tartness. 
sodium citrate, that gives it the tartness actually, and dried acerola cherry juice. And who doesn't like dried, dried cherry juice? Why well, drink liquid cherry juice when you could have it dried? Yeah. But I think about that. There are a few video reviews which I intend to watch. It's a flavored seltzer. I mean, everything is seltzer, seltzer, seltzer. Everybody's talking about seltzer. Everybody's talking about seltzer, seltzer. You know, but all we are saying is give beer a chance because it is a beer. <laughs> it tastes like a beer, really, in the final analysis. It tastes like a 5% flavor beer, much, very much like the other ones I've been trying. And I found this Seagram spiked. Um, <laughs> Blue Raz, I say, whoop. Um, those are stronger, 8% heavier body, way more calories and all. But they taste kind of like the same. You know, they all, all of them taste the same. They just, they just have various varying levels of quality, although it's generally very high. I saw the Kinky Blue at Savannah Discount today. Didn't buy it. wasn't paying five ninety nine a six pack. It's only five percent. I didn't. I want If I'd have seen the extra kinky, you know, the eight, I might have bit. But uh, oh, you know, it's just it goes on and on. And uh, <laughs> now these are a little more oriented toward health conscious people. Whereas the kinky, the extra kinky, you know, the Seagrams escape spikes they more like you know hanging on a corner drinking thunderbirds slinging rocks you know that kind of thing but um they are ultimately kind of like the same it's fine the body seems heavier than i would have expected i mean if you want to drink a beer that tastes like a flintstone vitamin go ahead i wouldn't do it but i mean i'm doing it for the review i wouldn't actually buy it on purpose the finish is semi semi kind of dry semi kind of dry it's a strange one I don't have any experience with busy I know there's video reviews I'm gonna watch them busy I guess they're trying to evoke visual fizziness right busy vi visual fizzy visually fizzy and it is I've scored um, um, I think I'd rather have the Seagram's Escapes honestly spiked the spiked I know they're gauche but um, this is pretty good I'll give it an 86 a B it's a B it's good it's good. You want it, buy it, try it. Hey, drink it. Anyway, I did it, David. I did the review. So, laissez les bon temps relay, a good product. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on down to southeastern Louisiana.